I enjoy using Anchor podcasting services. For one, it's an easy setup. Secondly, you can do everything on the same platform, which includes record and then add music to your podcast if you like. And once your podcast has been saved, you can then distribute it to other platforms with the click of a button. And did I mention that it's free? You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Bringing the Heat listeners. You can visit my website at www reginaweston.com and while you are there you can find all books written by Regina Weston. Girl Talk, The Art of Love, Betrayal, and Gold Digging 101. Why Couldn't You Love Me Too deals with topics such as teen pregnancy, divorce, gang violence, rape, drug use, child abuse, and domestic violence. Words from the Heart is a collection of poems that deal with love, spirituality, and relationships. Thank you for your love and your support. There was an old lady sitting under a tree. She called me over and she said to me, My days here may not be long. I wouldn't waste my time telling you nothing wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know. I would not waste my time telling you nothing wrong. Now go on this journey with me. There was a young girl by the name of Regina. She was around the age of seven or eight. One day, her mom took her over to her aunt's house. And she said, Regina, I'm going to leave you here while I run some errands. You stay here until I get back. Do not go outside. I'll be back shortly. But Regina did not listen to her mother. She was persuaded by her older cousin to go outside and go with him to the store. They went outside and they went to the store. Regina got hit by a car subsequently to crossing the street. However, if Regina would have stayed in the house like her mother had instructed her, she would have never gotten hit by a car. Do you get where I'm going with this story? Sometimes we are instructed to do things and when we go against the grain, sometimes there is a negative consequence because of a action. In this case, as a result of being disobedient to my mama, because I'm Regina. I got hit by a car and it caused a ripple effect. Now that leads me into this. Recently, I'm in my own house, minding my own business, watching one of my favorite reality shows. Out of the blue, it's around one in the morning. Boom, 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 boom. It made me jump because I'm saying, who is knocking on my door this time of the morning? Now listen, I am nobody's fool. That's why I have a husband. I went in the room and I told my husband, baby, somebody is knocking on the door. Somebody's knocking on the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Go see who it is. So being the strong black man that he is, he jumped out of the bed disorientated. <laughs> Because he was in a dead sleep. But he knew to get his butt out of that bed and to see what was going on. You know why? Because he is the protector of my house. Okay. He goes to the door and it's two police officers. They want to look on our camera to see if we seen our neighbor's child leaving the house between 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning. Now, this young girl is 12 years old. Why on God's green earth is a 12-year-old child sneaking out of the house? I'm a full-grown woman and I am in the house before it gets dark. So if I am in the house before it gets dark, the creeps come out at night. Mm -mm -mm. The creeps come out at night. Why is a 12-year-old child 
sneaking out the house. A young girl at that. So, of course, I'm not even this child's mama. And I'm concerned. You know why? Because sex trafficking is the norm nowadays. You cannot get caught slipping. Me and my husband both looked at the cameras and we did not see the young girl coming out the house. However, we only have a certain angle of their house. She could have snuck out her bedroom window, which we couldn't see, or the front door, which we couldn't see. Now, thank God, this time she's safe. But if she do it again, she might not be so lucky. And I'm saying this to say this. Children, listen to your parents. At the age of 12 years old, you know right from wrong. And you know that sneaking out of your parent house at 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning is wrong. And you open up the door to something bad happening to you. Why would a 12-year-old child sneak out the house? The only thing I can assume is it's because of a boy. The same way a male child would sneak out of a house, I would assume it's because of a girl. Don't do that, young people. Do not make a choice that you already know is wrong and not expect a negative outcome. You may get away with it once or even twice, but at some point, your sins are going to catch up with you. That leads me into this. It was a young lady who mother told her, baby, that guy is not good for you. I don't think you should go out with that guy. The mother of this child was a nice Christian woman. She only had good intentions for her daughter. But you already know, like most children, when the parents tell them not to date someone, what do most do? They sneak around their parents back and they continue to see that individual. This is what that young lady did. But you know what? She's not here to talk about it. She was in that car with that young man and due to the lifestyle that he was in, not her, that he was in, someone drove up to them as they were sitting in the car and shot up the car. In hindsight, had she listened to her mother and discontinued that relationship she might be here now to talk to you about that experience the experience of dodging a bullet but you know what she's not here why due to disobedience and that leads me into this there was a young man who told his mother that he was going to the store she called him she said come straight home had he listened he probably would be here today because he would have dodged a bullet, meaning death. That's not what he did. Once he came from the store, he decided to go to his friend's house. His mother was calling him. This time, he looked at the phone and he did not answer her call. Once he left his friend's house, he encountered some gang members. And you already know the story. Because they were in a the gang, they assumed that he was in the gang because of some colors that he was wearing. And he's no longer here on on this earth it could have been avoided had he came straight home listen this goes for our adults as well as our youth learn to listen if someone tells you something and they mean you no harm please heed what they are saying it could save your life luckily for me i didn't lose my life due to disobedience leaving my aunt's house and going out with my cousin and getting hit by a car i could have been killed that car hit me at an impact and i flew up in the air and fell to the ground. But because of God's mercy, I am here to talk about it. Everybody that goes against the grain do not live to talk about it. We are living in a dangerous world. I cannot say it enough. It only take one hard-headed moment, one slip for it to cost you your life and your destiny. The message today is listen, listen. When someone tells you something for the good, take heed. You do not know everything and you sure don't know everything at the age of 12. That boy may be whispering sweet nothings in your ear, baby, but it's not worth your life or your innocence. You may not have a good parent, one that is grounded, but if you got a parent, 
and they care enough to keep a roof over your head. Try to be respectful. Try to grow up and do what's right so that you can live a better life. Disobedience ain't the move and it's not the way to go and it's not the path to a bright future. You got to listen to somebody. You're going to listen the hard way or the easy way. But whatever choice you choose to make, know there's a consequence. It could be a good one or a negative one. But there is a consequence. Bring in the heat, listeners. If you would like to support this podcast, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign R Weston 252. That's dollar sign R W E S T O N 252 under the name Regina Redmond. I would like to thank you for your love and your support. Thank you, Bringing the Heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring.